So this will be a sparkling cider test between the Galaxy S9 Plus and the iPhone 10. So this is my S9 Plus, as you can see, still in the box. So let's get out of the box right now. Here's the phone. Let's just get it out right now. Okay, here you go. This is the purple one. Put that in the container. If you want to see my unboxing of my black one, I'll go ahead and put it in the cards so you can watch that if you want. Comparing it real quick to the blue one and also to the black one. If you guys are curious, here it is. Take this plastic off. Love doing this. And this rear one we do not need as well. Okay, put that right there. And this is the device. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this phone on. So we can get this test started. Galaxy S9. And see, the iPhone's on, right? And turn this on. Yes, it is on. Okay, while that's turning on, let's see, I gotta open this, right? So here's the Apple Cider, so you can see. Gotta open this up. So let me just do this real quick. Okay, I got the phone set up. So you can see the purple one also comes with this purple wallpaper. Pretty cool. Here's the iPhone iPhone 10. There you go. All right, so this is the apple cider, as you can see. Ooh, you hear that? Got it. Here we go. Okay, put this cap away. All right. So basically, I'm just gonna be pouring this onto the phone. So let's see, here's my Pixel 2 XL, and let's get the clock started on this. Five minutes in the liquid. So how do I do this? Uh, since I only have one bottle of this stuff, I'm gonna have to pour it into one first. So that means, I don't know, 10 second delay on second phone. That's all right. We can live with that. So let's see, I'm just gonna start the clock right now and start pouring. We're five minutes in. Five minutes. Actually, let's go for a few more seconds. Five minutes and 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. Nine, 10, 11. Okay, cool. Five minutes later. All right, so let's go ahead and check these phones out. We don't need the Pixel 2 XL anymore. Thank you, Google Pixel. Now I do have some water here. This will be my rinse. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Okay. Take these out and just dip it in here. Kind of rinse them off a little bit. Okay, close that. Close this one up too. Here we go. Okay, so take them out. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, time to dry them off. Wipe it down. Wipe it down, wipe it down. Wipe it down. Boy, the S9 Plus is going nuts. Look at that. What's going on? Jeez. Okay. Close this one too. 
put that to the side. And here we go. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Wipe down the backside as well. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little shake. Make sure you get all the liquid out. Okay. Okay. Feel some liquid coming out from the speakers, etc. Okay. Hey, do the same thing on the iPhone 10. Okay. And just give it a little. There we go. All right. Cool. So let's first check out the screen, which I think should be fine. Let's check it out. Okay, I don't know what that is. Close that up. And let's see, let's go to settings real fast and let's just scroll through something. And here we go. Nice and snappy still, not a problem. A little bit sticky though from the apple cider, but you know, I kind of did expect that a little bit. And this one, let's click on the calendar and let's scroll through this. And yeah, no issues with the scrolling. Screen is still nice and responsive. Very nice. Going home still works. And I'm not seeing anything under the display or anything. No water seepage or anything like that. Same thing with the S9 Plus. I didn't see any initially and I don't see it now. Okay, very cool. Okay, let's test out the speakers on this. So start out with, let's see, start out with the S9 Plus. Start out with this. Let's see, let's go to, actually had it open already. Let's go to YouTube. Now, this is the song that I always play on my background. So let's just play this real fast. Actually, hold on a second. Let me go to, there's a setting here. Sounds and vibration. And let's see, where's the Dolby at? Got to turn that on. Sound quality and effects. And Dolby Atmos. So if you, you guys, if you get the new S9 or S9 Plus, make sure you turn that on so you get the maximum benefit on the dual speaker setup. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and let's play this again. Put it next to the mic. Still sounds fine. Speakers sound fine even after five minutes in apple cider. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the iPhone 10. Okay, so where's the YouTube here? Do we even have YouTube on this phone? Yes, I do. Let's check it out. Uh, what is this? New dark theme. Nah, dude, take care of that later. No thanks on that. Okay, so, so let's search for, let's see. It's dark mage. There you go. Max volume. Oh, wow, that sounds all messed up. Damn. Yeah, that sounds like crap. Hold on a second. Let me, maybe I have to like blow into the speaker. Hold on a second. You know, like those old school Nintendo games. Let's see. I mean, that's what he needs. Do the same thing here on this front speaker as well. There you go. Gave a little bit of a blow. Okay. Swipe that down a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. Come on. IP67 water resistance. Come on. You gotta, you know, gotta sound a little bit better than that. Come on, Apple. Nope. Put it next to the mic. I gotta say, it doesn't, gotta say, it doesn't sound very good. So I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna have to give the winner to the Galaxy S9 Plus as far as just the sound test is concerned. Now, you know, give it a little bit of time. You know, I think the speakers, it'll dry out and it'll sound a little bit better in a little bit. But as of right now, looks like I'm gonna have to give the win to the S9 Plus. 
So hit me up in the comments and let me know what you thought about this interesting test. Thanks for watching. Peace out.